Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all been having a very happy and productive week. And if you guys are new to my channel, then welcome. Make sure you guys do subscribe, just click the button down below. Now, for those of you who have been following me on my YouTube channel and Instagram at Study with Jess, if you guys aren't following me, you should probably go do that after this video. But if you guys have been following me for a while, you would probably know that it's been a massive start to 2017. And I mean massive. So first off, I traveled to South America with Adam and his family. I launched my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide in Australia, and it's also available overseas as well. Adam and I got engaged. Yep, that's pretty big news. And then to top it all off, I decided to make a little bit more work for myself and I just built a website. That's right, studywithjess.com is back. It is back, baby. It is functioning, it's up and running again. I actually redesigned it, it's had a whole new facelift. And I wanted to share with you guys how I actually built my website in literally a day because it was that easy. And I built it using the templates off Wix.com. And I just wanted to let you guys know, so I actually built the website and right before I was going to publish it so that you guys could check it out, Wix reached out to me and said that they really wanted to collaborate and sponsor this video. So thank you Wix so much for actually giving me the opportunity to make a video where I can share all of these tips with you guys. And I honestly think it's so important to have this can do or DIY mentality. And I know a lot of you guys are looking to start your own blogs or you want to make your own website because you want to make an online store, which is so cool, so awesome. And I've even had some of you guys asking me how to make a website for an online portfolio if you do photography or even just having a resume or CV on your website too. So I'm going to take you through literally everything and I'm going to show you around my website studywithjess.com as well. So thumbs up if you find today's video helpful. Alright guys, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with studywithdesk.com, I just want to give you a little tour because I am honestly so proud of my work right now. I am really not that tech savvy. If you guys didn't know, when I started my YouTube channel, I YouTube how to upload a video onto YouTube. That is how tech savvy I am. So the fact that I could build this website shows you just how easy it is. Okay, so first off, I have a little title at the top. So I've got Study With Jess. YouTuber, author, entrepreneur, and speaker. So the whole reason I wanted to make studywithjess.com functioning and up and running again is because I wanted to have more of a personal website, something that actually showcased all of my skills and the sort of work I do because as you guys know, I do a lot of things. I'm a YouTuber, I do public speaking, I go in and talk to a lot of you guys at school and uni. I wrote a book, I have a stationery line, so there's a lot of stuff and I just felt like a website would actually showcase all of my work in a really clean and organized fashion. So at the top you've got YouTuber, author, entrepreneur and speaker, I've got my social media links over here and then I've got all these different pages that I set up. So I've got my about section, press are different articles or features that I've made it into in the media and then there's a bit of information about my speaking and workshops, my book stationery line, that's linked to my YouTube channel, a couple little free things you can check out and also a contact button. So I've got a banner over here with different photos that just stream across so it just sort of highlights the sort of work that I do and you've got my about me section which you can read a little bit more about as well. So I've got some information there about myself and then if I click my name up the top again it just goes back to the home page. So I'm going to show you what else I've got. I've got some information about my workshops and public speaking that I do, so the kind of topics I cover. Um, I've got a little gallery here. I love these photos and I think it's so cool. You can actually add your own gallery and you can move the photos around however you like, which I'm going to show you guys very soon. Um, I've got some testimonials from you guys here. So whenever I get such beautiful comments on my videos, I actually save them in a working document and then I like to post them up on social media or I have some on my website here. So I don't know, just means a lot to me whenever you guys send me nice messages, so just wanted to display them. Um, I've got a background image here which is of my stationery line as well. And then the built-in blog is actually where I showcase all of my features in the media. So I've got all the different articles that I'm featured in. Um, I was on TV for an interview guys, oh my god it was so scary but it was really fun. Um, so I posted that up too and just a bunch of other stuff. And then something else I love at the bottom, so I've got my little contact me form. 
but I actually linked my Instagram account and I thought it was so cool. I never knew how to do it and there's a little area in Wix which you can just link your social media account. So it actually just updates automatically for me, which is awesome. So just taking me through the tabs up the top. Under speaking and workshops, I actually made another page and then there's a little summary of all the presentations I give at schools. There's a dedicated page all about the High School Survival Guide, which is my study skills book, if you guys didn't know. I will leave a link to that down below. And you can actually download a free chapter. That's right, if you guys don't have a copy and you want a little sneak peek, head to studywithjess.com and you can get chapter one for free. And then there's actually a link straight to my stationery line as well off of this website. So I just thought I'd make it really easy for you guys. So you can check that out. And then I've also linked my YouTube channel as well. So you can head to study with Jess on YouTube and watch all my videos. So that's a tour of my website. But now, honestly, you can customize your website to reflect exactly what you want it to reflect. So let's get into that now. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to Wix.com. Simple. And, oh, my internet's actually behaving. Okay, so I'm going to Wix.com. Now, I have an account to sign in, but if you guys don't, then all you do is click Start Now. Then you're going to need to sign up with an account. Okay, now the awesome thing here is it actually just asks you straight up, what kind of website do you want? So, if you're a business designer, do you guys want to start a blog? I'm sure a lot of you guys do, so you could click that one. Um, portfolio and CV, photography, you name it. So let's do blog just so you get a bit of an idea. And then when I was building my website, I just started with Wix Editor. And then a range of different suitable templates Wix actually offers you are going to pop up. I really love the personal style blog over here, but the one that I used for studywithjust.com was Street Fashion Blog. And I just customized it so that it actually doesn't really look that much like a blog anymore. But you can keep the design as is or you can just change it up depending on what you're going for. So then all you have to do is click edit. It also comes up with a little demonstration video which is really handy but because I've already watched it I've just closed that. Okay so here is the initial template and there are so many things you can change up. You can actually just drag the photos around. You can change the text, you can add a text box, you can add different tabs up over here, you can change the name of the website of course. So I'm actually going to log in to studywithjess.com, I'm going to go into the back end of my website and I'm going to show you how I made mine and we're going to make another page together on my website just so you can actually see how I did it. Welcome to the back end of studywithjess.com website, so I'm just going to click manage site so you can actually log into your account and tweak your website from the back end whenever you like. So I'm going to go to edit site. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to scroll through and show you guys a little bit about what I did. So for example, over here I've got my gallery and I just can move these photos around if I like. I can actually add some new photos as well. So I click on the plus sign, I click on image and I go to my image uploads and I can choose any photo that I want to add to this gallery as well. So for example, if I wanted to add this photo here, I just click add to page. You can also upload images that aren't already there. And then I can adjust the size of my photo. And then if I click on other areas of my page, one thing that I will tell you guys is there are these little arrows here so you can actually shift these things further down so you can fit in more photos and things like that. So now I've got my photo there and I might want to add another one over here. So it's really that simple when you want to add images, which is awesome, but there are all different kinds of galleries that you can add. So if you click on gallery, you can actually choose to upload a collage. You can decide on the kind of size of the photos that you want to include as well. Um, I think this is really cool, especially this kind of look. If you're wanting to showcase some of your best work or photography skills or even your social media photos. And then I want to take you guys to the top of my website where I've got this. So this is actually my slideshow and I've got my three images here. And then if I actually just wanted to add another slide or image to my banner at the top, I just double tap on that photo and then I just click add new slide. So really, really simple guys. Now I wanted to talk you guys through how I created different pages for my website. So up the top you've got this little horizontal menu bar here and if you double tap on that, you actually have the option to add a page over here. So if you wanted to add one, you can choose it to be a page or a link or a menu header. For example, my about section is actually a link because if you click on the about over here, it'll actually take you to this section below. And if you wanted to read more about the work that I do, then all you have to do is click my little button here, which says read more. By the way, yes, you can add a button. If you click add, you go all the way down to button and you can select all different kinds of buttons. Really, really simple. So I just chose a plain one like that. 
and if you double tap on it, you can change what it says. So it doesn't actually have to say click me, it can say read more, it can say click here, whatever you want it to say, it can. And then where do you want to link that button to? I linked it to my about page. So if you guys wanted to add a link, then all you do is you just select the add page button and add link. If you want to add a page, then choose page. And then I'm just going to name this new page Jessie Cats because I love you guys. And then I'm going to show you how I can actually customize that page. Okay, so you can see that Jessie Cats is now in gray and it's a blank page displayed below. So now it's time to start adding some things. So for example, you might want to add a text box. So I'm just going to click on text and you can add a page title first. Now I'm just going to drag and drop that up the top. Then I'm going to add another text box and I'm going to add a small heading over here which is just going to be a little bit of a description and then I'm going to add a larger text box and this is going to actually be a paragraph and this is where I can write all the information I wanted to about all of you guys. Okay, so for example, I might want to use this paragraph to write a description about how amazing my subscribers are and how I actually came to have over 300,000 Jessicats. And then I thought I can add a little gallery over here. So I'm going to choose something cool. I don't know which one's going to look good. Okay, let's try the grid rounded because I think that's pretty cool. That does look awesome. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller because that's pretty big. And I'm going to pop it over there. Now it's time to change those photos. So I'm going to add my own. And then because that's about all of you guys on YouTube, I'm going to actually add a little button over here. So I'm actually going to say watch me and I'm going to link this to my YouTube channel. Ta-da! And I'm just going to pop that one there. Okay, so honestly it's that easy to build your own page on your website. There are so many features you can include though. I honestly don't think I could make a video that goes through every single one because it is just that comprehensive. But just a little bit of a tour, you can add different images, you can add a gallery like we did, a slideshow which is at the start, very top of my website, um, a button, you can add a box, different strips or shapes. You can actually add videos as well, which is really cool. If you guys are doing cinematography, videography, if you have a YouTube channel, then you can actually add your videos to this as well. Um, there's different music. You can even add your social media accounts here, which is actually the same bar that you'll find at the bottom of my website. So if I just double tap on that bar, you can actually choose which social media accounts you want to feature because I know not all of us have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, everything. So you can add different ones there. And if you just double tap on each one, you can change the link so you can customize them. Really, really simple, so easy. And then if you actually just want to link your Instagram feed, you click on social, you scroll down and it says Instagram feed. So you just tell them your account details and it just syncs it up automatically, which is so handy. Okay, now if I go back to the main page of my website, something I also wanted to show you guys were the anchors over here. So these anchors link to the little tabs at the top of your page over here. So if I click on the about tab over here, it's actually linked to an anchor which says about over here. And I've just made sure that when you click it, the page will automatically scroll for you so that it goes just over here and it takes you right to exactly what you want to read. So that's a really, really good feature as well. Then as far as your blog, the last thing I wanted to show you because I know a lot of you guys want to actually be crafting your own blog, you click on the little B sign here, you click manage my blog or add a new blog post. So I've already got all of my posts up and ready to go and they're already displayed, but I'm going to click manage your blog. And you can see all of the different posts that I've got up over here. And if I wanted to add a new post, I just click new post. So I'll just click new post so you guys can see. And I might want to title this blog post, top tips for acing exams. And it's written on April 7, name of the author, study with just yours truly. And then I can write all of my content over here. You can actually add a gallery if you wanted to. I personally like to add an image in every blog post that I put up, so I'm just going to go in and choose a photo, and I'm going to choose that one with me and the exam summary book from Seated Educationary because that links nicely or ties up nicely to my top tips for exams. And just taking you back to all of the blog posts I've already written, I'm going to show you how I actually crafted mine. So I'm just going to click edit, and you can see this was the article that was featuring me. So you can see my photo I posted up over here and then I've got all the information over there. And I actually just included a little read more section here and I created a little hyperlink and it actually just takes you straight to the website where the feature was published. 
So guys, it was honestly that simple. Like, I'm not joking. I actually bought this website in a day. Adam came home from work and he was absolutely blown away by the work that I had done in such a short amount of time. So I'm really proud of myself and I really think it's so important to have this can-do mentality and just do it yourself because you so can. I feel like we are so underestimating our own capabilities lately and there are so many resources out there to allow you to learn new skills and really efficiently and effectively. So Wix.com is an awesome website and I kind of wish that I knew about this a few years ago when I started Seated Educationary because I probably would have built that website too. So just saying. So anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. I know it was something quite different, but I just felt like it would be really interesting to share how I built this website. I'm really proud of the work that I've been doing lately. And I just thought if my own experience can help you guys in some way, whether you want to build a blog, build a website for your own store, a portfolio, or even have your own online resume or CV, they're all different templates that you can actually access from Wix.com. So I hope you guys found today's video helpful. If you did, show me some love, thumbs up, let me know, subscribe down below. And I will see you guys next week with another one of my videos. So have a very happy and productive week. I love you guys so much. And just hope you have a beautiful day. Bye guys.